Hello everyone, my name is Ebolon, welcome to another video. Today we are diving into the Deepsea Call world of Wimblau. The latest cool up action roguelite from Motion Twin, the geniuses behind Dead Cells. It's launching near early access and trust me, it's a blast. Imagine Hades meets Mario Kart with a sprinkle of the Minecraft gravity. Yeah, it's a wide ride. But is it worth your time? Well, stick around because we are about to explore the highs, the lows and everything in between. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more gaming goodness. Let's get into it. Alright, let's kick things off with what makes Windblown a standout gem. First up, the art style. It's like stepping into a colorful, hand-painted world. You'll be swinging your weapons while being surrounded by beautiful fantasy floating islands and steampunk vibes. The aesthetic is delightful and it draws you in right from the start. Next, we have the gameplay mechanics. Seriously. The dodge mechanic in this game is absolutely chef's kiss. It's almost like you are part of a dance off with the enemies. You can dodge almost everything with such a fluidity that it may combat feel exhilarating. If dodging was an Olympic sport, you'd be taking home the gold medal. And speaking of combat, let's talk about the weapon system. There are 12 different weapons at launch each with unique abilities that keep things fresh, plus the addition of ultra attacks giving you a chance to dish out some serious damage with a cheeky combo. You're not just mindlessly mashing buttons, you're crafting your strategy mid-fights. And that's what makes each run feel so rewarding. Now let's chat about Kua play. Windblown allows for up to three players to team up. I can already picture the chaos three friends, one cannon and endless laughter as you try to figure out who's who. Pro tip, keep track of your character's color or you might end up dodging right into a boss attack while thinking you are the one who dishing out the damage. And how can we forget about the crystallite? This execution move adds a whole new layer of excitement to the gameplay. It's satisfying to take down a tough enemy and watch the flashy animation play out. Seriously, it's like fireworks every time you finish a boss. Lastly, let's mention the upgrades and customization. You have a plethora of trinkets, gifts and boosts to choose from. Do you want to go full offense or maybe you prefer more defensive strategy? The choices are endless and every round feels unique. So in summary, Winblown nails the visuals, the mechanics and the co-op experience, but it's not all sunshine and rainbow. Let's dive into the negative. Okay folks, it's time to get real. Windblown does have its flaws. First, the early access content, while it has a solid foundation, there's a notable lack of biomes and weapons. With only 5 biomes available, it can feel a bit repetitive. You might start to feel like you're in a never-ending loop of the same floating island. Now let's talk about enemy difficulty. It can be a bit punishing, especially for new players you start with 100 max HP and those bosses hit hard. I mean, my first encounter made me question my life choices. You can get wrecked out of nowhere if you aren't careful. Not to mention the lack of a clear tutorial may leave some players scratching their heads in confusion. And then there's a story. Let's, let's be honest. The narrative is a little thin. While the visuals are stunning, the actual plot feels like an you know, afterthought. You'll be more focused on dodging and slashing than uncovering a deep and engaging story. If you're looking for a gripping narrative, you might want to look elsewhere. Also, while the dodge is amazing, it can lead to some accidental death. Especially in those chaotic boss battles, you think you are dodging like a pro, but bam, you mistime it and you end up in another danger zone. And lastly, I must mention the lack of minimap. A minimap, yeah, seriously, developers, what's the deal? It can get frustrating sailing across the sea of nothingness without any landmarks. You will spend half of your time checking the in menu map like where the heck am I? So is Windblown worth it? Absolutely. Despite its few flaws, it's a blast to play solo or with friends. The art, the mechanics and the co-op experience are all top notch. Plus, it's in early access, meaning there's a solid chance it'll evolve and improve as the developers receive feedback from the community, from us. If you are up for a vibrant look, roguelike adventure that lets you embrace your inner dodge master, then hop on that cannon and launch into Windblown. And hey, with a price tag of just $19.99, it's just... It is still. I thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop the comment below about your favorite Wimbledon moments. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Until then, happy gaming. My name is Abolan.
Peace.